Mega Gold. The most powerful gold and treasures detector. With your new and advanced device, you will be able to search in white, west areas in less time in comparison with the available classical devices. And you will be able to identify undiscovered targets with unexpected depths and distances. Much easier. May your gains be plentiful. Mega Gold, the most powerful gold and treasures detector. The Mega Gold is the latest and most sophisticated in the world and is working on four programs for long term scanning in the electronic circuit, which is the most recent ever. The device uses ARM processors and 4.3 inch TFT LCD display screen. The main body of the device is made of high-quality ABS plastics. Parts and components of the device. Waterproof case. Main control unit of the device Scanner antennas Parabolic antenna Auto charging adapter Charging adapter Adapter cable Depth measurement unit User manual Main control unit explanations Signal boosting sensors Charging indicator LED Charge jack connector Battery box Laser on off button Laser beam Search antennas Parabolic antenna Control panel explanations On off button, down button. The frequency setting can be accessed by pressing and holding the button. Up button, sound can be muted by pressing and holding the button. Enter or selection button. Left button, the screen brightness can be controlled by pressing and holding the button. Right button. Back button to the previous menu. After pressing on power button, the following screen will display. Brand screen, model name screen, language selection menu. Due to the widespread of the device, the device has been equipped with eight international languages allowing any user to use the device easily. Search systems menu. You can choose the appropriate system and then press the enter button on the control panel. Mega Gold contains one search system, long range locator system. To use long range locator system, the device is set up as following. 
The antennas are connected to the main unit of the device. Then the antennas are pulled out to its maximum length possible. The antenna balance can be adjusted from the top of the antenna by rotating it right and left until the height is same between the two antennas. We turn on the device by pressing the power button. After selecting the language from Languages menu, the targets menu in the device will appear. Then the user can select the appropriate target by pressing the Enter button. After selection of the target, the program loading screen will appear. The long range locating screen will show the name of the program that we have chosen with the table of distances and depths. Switching between distances and depths through up and down buttons. You can change the precise frequency setting by pressing and hold down button until hearing a different tone and changing the value with the right and left buttons the user can increase or decrease the frequency to 12 Hz. The increment rate is 1 Hz at every press. It is preferable to leave the precise frequency on the factory default at 0. Target control with boxing method. This method allows the operator to determine the target location and to clarify the trueness of the target. A square is completed around the target with a distance of about 200 centimeters, 7 feet, from the target center. When the operator is at the same line with the target, the antennas turn to the target. If the target is real, the antennas should turn to the target from all four sides. Otherwise, there is a possibility that the target being not real. Very important note. While using the device to search for the following targets, diamonds, please put the Deep Master unit in the ground in any nearby randomly area in order to properly be searching for these targets and more effectively. Measuring the depth of the target. At the highest point of the target, Enter the wedges or pegs from the deep master unit about 8 cm in the ground. Set the precise frequency to 5. Select the target program from the main unit. Wait 3-4 minutes. Stand on the target and watch the antennas turn into one side. And this is the first point of signal. After moving from the target point, you will notice that the antennas will gradually move forward. Stop when the antennas turn back on one side, and this is the second point of signal. The approximate depth of the target is the distance between the two signal points, with the slope of 45 degrees from the second point. Several depth measurements are required from various other signal points to measure depth more accurately. The digital voltmeter on the Deepmaster shows the voltage of the battery. Some ways to maintain the device. The detector should be protected from high levels of heat and cold. The device must not place in the back of the car or under the sun on hot summer days or outdoors in a winter. Remove the device battery if you do not plan to use the device for extended periods such as a month or more. The device must always be kept clean after each use. During the transfer of your device, remove removable pieces of the device such as search antennas, sensors, etc. Please place the device in its bag and the specified place inside the bag and the pieces should not be placed in other places. The most powerful gold and treasures detector.